today we start chapter number 12 from first year biology its name is nutrition and nutrition is a biological process it's a basic process by which all organisms all organisms need energy so for energy purpose and also for building their protoplasm they need nutrition so nutrition in this way is a basic process by which organism obtain nutrients to build up their protoplasm and they provide energy to the cells nutrition but we will discuss the 12.7 of this chapter that is holozoic nutrition holozoic nutrition in animals this nutrition is different from plants animals we know that they are as heterotrophic means they obtain their food from other external sources so that's why they are heterotrophic mode they have heterotrophic mode of nutrition why we call this heterotrophic mode of nutrition in animals as the holozoic because organ animals first take very complex organic food material inside their body and then they change or convert it into the simplest soluble form and then this soluble form is uh, taken up or absorbed by the cells of the body where they are utilized for building for protoplasm or for energy purposes that's why this nutrition in animals is called holozoic nutrition three now this has the basic steps of holozoic nutrition the first basic step is ingestion and second is digestion and third is ready third is absorption fourth is assimilation and the last step is ingestion so these are the five basic steps and the whole zoic mode of nutrition in animals if you see the first step ingestion and all animals protozoa to metozoa they need food from external sources that is from environment either eating uh, plants or eating other animals so ingestion is a complex organic food material so they obtain this organic food material first inside their body engulfing in their body and after ingested food is now being broken down into the simpler and and the soluble form so that it can be taken up by the cells through plasma membranes so that step is digestion means break down complex organic food into the simplest and soluble food this digestion digestion means breakdown of complex organic food into the simplest and soluble one suppose we take an example from a protozoa a common protozoa these steps you will follow by this ameba then how ameba perfect these steps you will see in ameba now suppose ameba feeds upon any other microscopic organism so now see that it will proceed its pseudopodia as a finger like projection these are finger like extensions and this is the food particle this ameba extends its pseudopodia over this food particle and make a cup like structure this cup like structure 
act as a mouth as in higher animals so it is used for ingestion through this process it engulfs the food particle and now this food uh, is uh, changed or converted into a food vacuum where you see like this now the food cup is changed into the food vacuum and up over this food vacuum lysosomes fuse with the, this membrane of the vacuum and lysosomes you know already they are organelles of the cells which produce digestive enzymes now these lysosomes after fusion with the vacuum membrane they will produce digestive enzymes over this food particle so the food complex food which was ingested in the first step of ingestion now is being digested so this completes the second uh, step of the holozygous nutrition that is called the digestion in food vacuum now you see that when digestion is completed this uh, empty vacuum is changed or extended into fine canals this is a membranous vacuum changed into the fine vacuoles which extend throughout the cytoplasm which extends throughout the cytoplasm the digested food particles which are soluble now through a micropinol cytosol process diffuse out into the cytoplasm this means uh, actually it's a transportation of the digested food and also it's a absorption by the each part of the cytoplasm the food digested food through these canals is diffused out are by a process called a micropinocytosis now this uh, uh, absorbed food as a completion of a third step absorption now this absorbed uh, organic food which is soluble and used for the building up of this protoplasm of amoeba or for purpose of energy so this is called assimilation this is called assimilation means utilization now the whatever the food amoeba in the first step taken then digested then it is absorbed and now it's finally utilized by this cell overall you see that amoeba is if one cell structure so there is no other cell so all digestion steps have taken place inside the cell so this is called the intracellular digestion amoeba performs only intracellular digestion now you see that remaining undigested food particles which are after complete digestion remaining unfood and digested particles they just uh, fuse with the membrane of plasma membrane of the amoeba it is rare end and where from they are removed out they are dumped off removed out and finally the step called ligation so this final step ligation it means all the holozoic nutrition uh, steps uh, starts from protozoa even from protozoa so all the animals perform holozoic nutrition and holozoic nutrition you have clearly studied taking example of one cell protozoan amoeba that ingestion how does amoeba ingest the food particles complex insoluble food particles with the help of its ectoplasmic extensions they become finger like projections we name them pseudopodia means false feet the first step you have this i have described here that how it makes a food cup with the help of the pseudopodia that is used for ingestion and same second step you have clearly studied that this food uh, cup becomes changed or turns into a food vacuole inside which there is a food particle but it's complex now as we know that lysosome are the uh, cells digestive uh, vacuoles they come to fuse with the membrane of this vacuole and uh, you you also do about that they produce digestive enzymes over this food particle which completely digest this organic complex organic insulin plasma soluble one 
and then this is the empty vacuum it's a membranous as we know it's a membranous it just expands into many fine canals fine canals throughout the cytoplasm it facilitates for the distribution means transportation of digested food to each part of the protoplasm and where from through th <coughs> this membrane through this membrane they uh, by the process of micropenocytosis means uh, drinking of uh, cell micropenocytosis this food digested diffuse out into the each part of the cytoplasm where it is now being utilized for build either building purpose of the amoeba body or for the process of energy so uh, finally uh, we will, i will say that we have started chapter number 12 uh, as a nutrition and in nutrition chapter we have taken 12.7 uh, point, seven, uh, point of holozoic nutrition in animals today we discuss all the basic steps of uh, all the basic steps of uh, holozoic nutrition and what is holozoic nutrition we have also completely understand and we have also taken an example of uh, holozoic nutrition in uh, amoeba thanks